I want you to imagine what it's like to be the main character in a game. The whole world evolves around you, everyone looks up to you, and nothing can stop you from achieving greatness. <laughs> that is what Titus felt like. He got all the attention, all the fame and glory, with no one standing in front of him. That is, until moments later, his life is literally uprooted and set a thousand years into the future where no one knows who he is, away from those he loves, is brought into a world with a giant monster by the name of Sin, and is now tasked to save the world. What happened? Okay, so what else happened to Titus? Or as the original game would pronounce it, Titus. What? Uh, editor's note, I found out that the original voice actor, James Arnold Taylor, the voice of Titus, also pronounces it as Titus. <laughs> what? Okay. Tidus's new profession after being a pro blitz player is a glorified bodyguard known as a guardian who is meant to protect the summoner, who is sent off to defeat Sin and rush in the calming, which is a period of time where people don't have to worry about Sin until they do. And Titus is immediately overlooked by the real protagonist, Yuna, the summoner. Titus is also overshadowed by the other guardians in the party, some who have dedicated their life to the cause, like Waka, who has a religious belief in the journey, and Arin, who is significantly more skilled than Titus can ever be, and is promptly casted aside. Titus later gets an opportunity to flex his prowess in a Blitzball tournament, only for him to be swamped for the team's captain, Waka, instead, despite him being injured. Finally, Titus gets visions of his father constantly putting him down to the point where Titus resents him. For some of you, this feeling might sound a bit familiar. What Titus is experiencing is depression, and out of the eight criteria given by the DSM-5, Titus experiences two throughout the game. This would actually qualify him under mild depression. These two are depressing moods and reoccurring thoughts of death. The first you may have seen before. <laughs> yes, this infamous scene that has been in a plethora of memes. If we rewind a bit before this purposely awkward laughter, we get a better understanding on why this is happening. Hey, you got pretty good. You sound sad. Yeah, maybe. Want to scream? Mm, I really don't think that's going to help this time. You know what? Hmm? It's embarrassing to say this myself, but summoners and their guardians are kind of like Spira's ray of light. A lot of people in Spira depend on us. I learned to practice smiling when I'm feeling sad, you know. <laughs> I know it's hard. Yeah. I understand. I think. Right. Now let's see what you can do. Huh? Come on. Uh, uh. This is weird. Next, try laughing out loud. What? Come on, show me. Ha, 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 ha. You probably
probably shouldn't laugh anymore. Sin is the embodiment of depression. It takes away joy from others, such as when it invades Titus's home, as well as the Blitzball Championship. The World Health Organization has made a video in 2015 commenting on depression is like a black dog. Popularized by Winston Churchill, the black dog is a metaphor for depression and how the dog will always be part of someone's life, much like how sin is constantly in everyone's life on Spira and it needs to be resolved. Death is a common topic in Final Fantasy X. Throughout the game, Yuna is performing sendings, which is a performance that sends people into the afterlife. Later, we can even travel to the afterlife and see all the people who have passed. One that's most notable is Walker's brother, Chapu. So what's the solution to Sin? Well, the people of Spear propose the idea of Summers making the track to sacrifice themselves and defeat Sin, which surprisingly has a lot of people signing up for it. Like, a lot of people. Like, too many. Obviously, this is not a permanent solution. To bring back the video from the World Health Organization, it is the equivalent of using a temporary coping mechanism such as drinking or smoking. In order for Sin to be fully removed from Spira, Titus and his team must work together to defeat the source of the problem. And for Titus, it's his dad. It has been mentioned five times in the game that Jet, Titus' father, is Sin. To me, that shows that Titus's black dog has been a result of Jacked. And if Titus wants Sin to be gone for good, he needs to confront his feelings and overcome them. And that is exactly what he does. You've really grown. Yeah, but you're still bigger. Well, I am Sin, you know. That's not funny. <laughs> Dad? Yeah. I hate you. I know, I know. You know what you have to do. Yeah. Pretty soon, I'm gonna be Sin. Completely. I'm glad you're here now. I promise this will be quick! Hit me with all you got! I can already hear what you're saying. So what? Who cares? Why are you telling me this? Well, in 2008, roughly seven years after the release of Final Fantasy X, suicide was considered the top four cause of death between the ages of 10 to 54 by both genders in Canada. 
This will later be considered the 11th cause of death in Canada in 2011 overall, and would drastically climb to the second cause of death in the ages between 15 and 34 in that same year. In America, it has been identified as the 10th cause of death as of 2019. So how can you help? According to the Canadian Mental Health Association, here are some signs you should look out for. Changes in behavior such as drinking more than usual, physical complaints such as their eating and or sleeping habits have changed, changes in thoughts and moods such as feeling more hopeless, previous attempts in suicide, and dwelling on death. In addition, the Canadian government recommends to pay attention to those who have withdrawn from family and friend activities. Finally, help develop an anti-suicide plan. Help identify warning signs, ways to cope, where you can go to be around people, who is a friend you can contact, what are phone numbers that you can contact to receive professional help, and help identify tools for self-harm and help move them away. I encourage you to embark on your own journey to defeat your version of sin and thank the guardians in your life to help you along the way. Good luck. Everyone, everyone has lost something precious. Everyone here has lost homes, dreams, and friends. Now we can make new homes for ourselves and new dreams. Although I know the journey will be hard, we have lots of time. Together, we will rebuild Spira. The road is ahead of us, so let's start out today. Never forget them. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing for more videos like this. As you probably have already tell, like I kind of have a sporadic upload schedule, as in my last one as of recording is about two months old. Uh, <laughs> I hope to change that in as of 2022. But until then, I'll be live on Twitch at twitch.tv for slash slowly pandas, where I'll be playing the current game that I'm studying or learning about, uh, as well as just goofing off. Uh, I don't really know what game I'm going to be playing as of right now. If you have an idea or a suggestion, you can tweet at me at SunlyPandas, and I actually might check it out. Thanks again, everyone. Have a good day. Bye-bye.